In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a tri-bubble bongo, which is also known as a gun gun bongo submarine from the Star Wars universe. Now, if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, if you want more Star Wars tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above, as well as in the description to a full playlist for you guys to check out after this video. Anyway, let's get into it. So here we are on my flat tutorial world, guys. Um, so I'm going to be building this one out of the water rather than under the water. So feel free to whack this one wherever you want, really. Um, I would advise, obviously, under the water or on top of the water, at least. So guys, this one is 15 blocks long and 13 blocks wide. And it's also four blocks high. Though the top bit is a slab, the bottom bit's a slab. So technically, three blocks is just... That's not the way that Minecraft works. Um, so yeah, guys, um, it's a real shame that these twisting vines don't go sideways. I was like looking at all the blocks, I was just like, they would be perfect if they went that way. Um, this is what we've got, this is the Guggen sub. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was, and actually quite a bit more challenging to build than I thought it was. So if you guys want to make a grid, you can do. This is what I'm going to be using to kind of center everything, uh, just in case you're building it in a really specific place. Again, that is 15 by 13. Blocks wise, we're going to start off just with a couple blocks, um, and that is going to be stone slab, warp slab, warped fence gate, end rod, and also uh, not twisting vines. <laughs> we don't need those at all. That will do for the time being, and we'll also need some sort of wool or some sort of block to, to kind of use and build off of. So, on to layer number one. So, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to find the middle of this build or this uh, box that we've actually got here, which should be. There we go. If we do this, you can then see, so I'm doing it every other one, you can see where the middle of the box is. So find yourself the middle. Um, it should be six blocks or the seventh block either, either way um, is where we're actually going to be starting from. And then we're going to go back with three blocks. So we've got one, two, three. So I'm only going to place every other block so that you guys can see it. With our warped slab, we're going to have one right on the back of this and one either side of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and diagonal. So we're going to go to diagonal there. And then what we're going to do is this three blocks that we've got here, we're going to fill in behind it. And then we're going to put another three blocks on the back of that. So that's the kind of shape that you end up getting. Now with our stone slabs, what we're going to do, we're going to put a stone slab on the side here. And then one on the side here. Two on the back here. And then one right on the back and around here, we're going to go with that two, one, one. So that's what you end up getting. So if I look towards the front, that is the shape that you guys end up getting. So we're going to do one of the tails. Um, I'm going to do it exactly as I've kind of built it here for these, the kind of engine -y, twirly things. Because uh, it was actually quite difficult to get it to look right. Uh, so we're going to do it in bits. <laughs> it's going to be much easier that way rather than one big go. So right from the uh, left hand side of this stone slab that we got at the back, we're going to go back from here, this block right there with five blocks. So you go one, two, three, four, five. Then from here, we're going to have two warped fence gates. And on the end of that fence gate, we're going to have an end rod, which will make it glow in the dark really nicely. That's the that's the reason we've gone for that. We are going to be doing some debug sti stick stuff at the end in order to notch these down. I'll show you guys how to do that at the end if you're in creative and you can get the debug stick. I think it's only on Java. I'm not totally sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. It'd be really good to know. Um, there we go, that's it for layer number one. So for layer number two, we're going to add a couple more items to our list. We're going to need warp stair, warped fence, sea lantern, and also polished deep, state, deep slate stairs. Those are my seats. So what we'll do first is right on the front, we're going to have a stone slab. And what we're going to do is from, uh, let's go right from... So if we go right from the beginning, let's not do the stone slab part of it. Let's go forwards with a sea lantern. So right in the middle, start with a sea lantern and go forwards. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have an upper slab on the top of this. We're going to have a block of stone on the side and a block of stone on the side. So this is actually a light um, and this is something that just happened by chance really when I was trying to look to where I could put lights. Uh, this seemed like a pretty good place, although it's, there's two on the sides, uh, it doesn't quite fit, it doesn't look right. Um, we're going to have a lower slab either side of that, so these are coming down. Then what we're going to do is on the front, we're actually going to have a warped fence, and then a warped fence gate, and another warped fence gate. There's this little hook on the front, just punch those two out. Now what we'll be doing in a bit, again, debug stick, oh, looks like those have knocked up anyway, uh, but debug stick will knock those down in a sec. So we'll get onto that. Okay, 
So the next part right here, we're going to go with our stone slab again. We're going to have a stone slab on the side right here. Stone slab on the side right there like that. Then behind this, behind this uh, slab that we've got here, we're going to have a full block of warped, um, warped wood, warped planks. Um, same behind that as well, and same on this side here. So end up with this little little L shape like that. So one, two, and three. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a block of stone right here. Then a block of stone on the outside part of it like that. Then with a warped stair, we're going to have an upside down stair on the side of that block. And then right on the end, we're also going to have an upside down stair. It's going to be sticking out. So we've got a stair there. Then we go to the side and we have a stair here. So we're going to do the same on the other side because otherwise we'll get lost. Um, so what we're going to do right here is we're going to have that block of stone. Then another block of stone right here. Then we're going to have a stair on the side of that one. And then a stair going out. Now with our warped, um, warped planks or warped slab, we're going to build a block up here. Then we're going to have another block behind it and another block behind it. So then this kind of all joins up to go into there. So we've got a block, a block, a block, like that. In terms of the seats, the way that I've, or where I've put these, um, what I've done is I've gone for one here, one here, and then one here, like that. Now what you can do, and it's up to you guys, put some levers in, you can put buttons in and stuff like that as well. But I put in three levers, they, they kind of did fine uh, in those places like that. So what we'll do now is on the back, now with my one, I've actually put on an iron uh, trapdoor. Now, of course, I've had to use the special stick thing to do that. Um, but that is just one block over. So you leave this block here. So you've got a stair, block, go to the next one. That's where we're going to have that there. So it's block, and then we're going to have that one there. And we'll leave it like that for the time being. We'll we'll go and sort all of that out uh, in a sec. So right here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a stair and an upside down stair. And I don't think we have anything on that. No, we don't. We don't at all. So we just have a stair and we have a stair. So we've got a gap pretty much all the way around this. Just like that. I actually get rid of these orange blocks. I think that's what's throwing me because that's off center. So it's completely throwing me off. Um, what we're then going to do is behind this chair have a whole block of uh, warped. So a whole block of warped like that. And actually we're going to have a block of warped um, just behind it and that's going to be covering up the engine. If you want to be able to see the engine you can get that extra block. It's quite a lot of um, extra bits of space you can get from like things like this block for example. Um, but I've tried to make it look as close as I can anyway. Never going to be perfect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a slab on the end of this block, slab on the end of that block. We're going to have a full block of your warped at the back here. Then what we're going to do is as part of one of these tails we're going to have a stone slab on the upper then a warp slab behind that, and then we're going to go to a lower slab, the side of one, and then that will connect into these fence gates, just like that. What we're also going to do with a lower stone slab is have one going diagonal from that one right there, and then we're going to have two warped fence gates, and then we're going to have that end rod on the end of that one there. So that's another part of the tail system like that. But guys, that is it confusingly for layer number two. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Okay, so on to layer number three. What we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to start with a stone slab, and we're just going to place the stone slab on top of the sea lantern that we had before like that. Then we're going to need a glass block, so new block. And we're going to have two pieces of glass behind this. Yeah, I know it's a shame you can't sit in it, but it is quite small. So you've got two here. We're then going to join another two on here and go over. So you just kind of cover up most of it. So you get that kind of a symbol. Almost like a almost like a V shape, really. You know, connected up V uh, with your glass. That is it, though, for the glass. So we can get rid of that at least. Um, we're going to need a warped slab now. And just where we've got this gap, put a warped slab in there. Put a warped slab in there. Have a warp slab on the side as well, and another one on the side here. What we're going to also do is we're going to have right on this bit here, so right next to it, have a warp slab. Behind that, have a stone slab. Then we're going to have a warp slab, then a stone slab. 
So lots of variation going on here. And we're going to get onto the more detail-y bits in a sec as well, which um, gets even more, but it should be easier. Um, so we get from this side here, we've got that slab. We put another slab right next to it. Behind it, we have the stone slab, so that's next to the glass there. Then we have a warp slab, then a stone slab, like that. So that's the kind of pattern we get. With our warp stairs, we're going to have the stair for facing the glass, like this. And then we're going to wrap it around to the side here and wrap it around to the side there. We can then put in a full warped block behind it. And this is why I'm saying you can delete these two blocks if you wanted to. Um, and that's where we get the sea lantern. So it depends if you want to be able to see the, the light behind it, the kind of engine part of it, then uh, leave that open. Or you can do something, you know, with your stairs and, and make it look a little bit fancier if you wanted to. Uh, for me, I just blocked the whole thing up. Why not? So that's what you can do on that bit. Okay, so if we now get on to the back, what we're going to do on the back is going to be complicated again, of course. We're going to have on the upper piece of this sea lantern, we're going to have a warped slab. Then on the, the uh, just connecting directly onto that, we're going to have a stone slab. Then if we go to the left diagonally, we're going to have another stone slab, same level. Then off that one, we're going to have two warped fence gates and an end rod. And what we're also going to do as well is we're going to have from this, so we're going to need to go down onto the lower piece, and we're going to have from here, okay, so it's down and diagonal with a stone slab. And then we're going to be onto the upper piece the warped slab. There we go. So it's right there. Next to it, we then get the warped slab there. I didn't say it was going to be easy. Um, and then you get your warped fence gates on the back there. And then you whack an end rod on the end to finish that bit up. So that's to make those kind of weird, turny things. Um, so, yeah, that is that bit there. So, in terms of the extra detail-y bits, we're going to need a couple blocks. We're going to need... Um, actually, we can even finish this up. There's actually only a few slabs on top, which I didn't realise. Um, we're going to need a warped button. We're going to need a stone pressure plate. Um, and also warped trapdoor and we'll finally need uh, a warp slabs as well so with your warped slabs where we've got this gap this this open gap here we're gonna have a slab on the back most piece here and then go forwards like that with the warp slab we'll have one going this way one going this way and then one going this way just to make the canopy the kind of glass part of it look a little bit more patterned you can go all over it but I just didn't like the look of it if I'm honest then what we're going to do is where we've got this uh, warped block here, we're going to have a warped trapdoor going sideways. And the same, of course, on the other side. With our stone pressure plates, right on the end, we're going to have a stone pressure plate here and here. So just on the warped bits like that, there and there. With our warped buttons now, we're going to have the warped button here, here, and then here and here. So it's just to add in a little bit more colour and a little bit more detail. So there we go. Um, the only other bit we need to do is to cover up this lantern and put a warp trap door on. And I left that there because I really liked the kind of light coming out of it. It just looks cool. So that's why I went with that. And I'm just going to double check. Yep, that is it for that side of it. So debug stick. The way that you get the debug stick, you have to be in creative mode, but you'll give your character. Uh, you could do... Um, as well if you ever see it at P um, and then what we'll type in is debug underscore stick and that won't find it <laughs> so we'll just do my character name there we go apparently I'm giving myself 64 of them so the debug stick will allow us to move certain things so if we um, left click we can then find the in wall property and you can see that that's false but we want to actually shift click so shift or sneak and then right click and then we'll knock that down to it being true there we go so that knocks that down on the front which makes it look more curved and I like that and then we're going to do it similar well the same things actually in fact with these ones so we need to find that in wall and then move that down and then we'll move that one down move that one down and then move that one down and all that does is it just makes it look I find more interesting so in terms of this one we need to find the open and then we set that to closed or open to open to true. Is that open to true? Or open to false? Sure. Or is that switch it to true? I don't know. Who knows what it means? Somebody. Um, I don't. <laughs> so there we go. 
that will do anyway guys for it but that is it guys for the tri bubble bongo the gungan submarine um this was more difficult than i thought it was but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have make sure to comment like and subscribe check out my other star wars videos as well my tutorials got everything from star destroyers and all that kind of stuff gigantic builds um and also all of my other content as well but if you have enjoyed comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one